people. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today show. How are you using your 86,400 seconds today that God has given you? Time is the most valuable thing a man can spend. Don't we all wish we had more time in life? Time to spend with loved ones. Time to finish solving a problem. Time to eat, time to pray, and time to love. Time to exercise more. Time to travel to all the continents on the globe. Time to finish that project. Time to take that diving course. Time to take a yoga class or self-improvement seminar. Time to chat with our grandparents. Time to visit an old friend. Time to aid the poor. Time to listen to the news. Time to challenge yourself. Time to meditate. Time to do volunteer work. Time to listen to a friend in need. Time to have dinner with your partner. Time to have dinner with your family. Time to be an adventurous. Time to be, uh, excuse me, time to parachute. Time to pray and time to play. Time to listen within. Time to cook wholesome meals. Time to do nothing and time to do everything. Time to feel what you really feel. Time to dream and to time to be. I know I've spent a lot of time doing wrong things and making many mistakes. But even so, I've learned something from all of it. That in itself means it wasn't so wrong after all. I also spent a lot of time thinking of little time I had and how I wished I had more time. Not so good. If all it does, it stress you out, my friends. However, if it compels you to take charge and make a plan for how you to reach all those wonderful dreams and goals, then it's a good thing. I'm getting there, falling and getting up again, losing time along the way, my friends. <clears throat> I read this one analogy one time about... Uh, uh, imagining that there's a bank that every morning deposits $86,400 into your account. And every day it happens over and over and over again. The only catch to this whole scenario is that according to the idea, it uh, is that you cannot save that particular deposit until the next day. In other words, you can't roll it over. The $86,400 you get in the morning is gone that evening. You can't use any of it in advance, and you can't pile it up after. What do you do? Would you think carefully about how you use it each and every day? The thing is, we all have this account available to us, except it's time we get to use We all have 86,400 seconds to spend each and every day, and at the end of the day, those seconds are gone. They don't roll over. Does the thought stress you out? Can you see the seconds bleeping away? Well, the seconds will bleep away. You cannot hold on to them, but you can use them wisely. <clears throat> and by wisely, I am not talking about producing stuff. Well, at least not all the time. But perhaps you can change how you look at your life when you see it in seconds and you break it down that way. Think about having this account with a limited time deposit each and every day. Does it make you think of living any different than you think now? You can't live in the life future. You can't live in the life past. You can live in the life present, using the seconds available to you right now as we sit here. Yes, living now involves some sort of planning ahead. But the secret is to invest your time smartly so that you can get the best possible return in terms of health, in terms of happiness, and in terms of success. How do you do this is up to you, totally up to you. Here are some of the things you could be doing. You could be planning and organizing to cre create whatever you want and need. If you want to lie in bed, make sure that it is what you really want to do and not just something that has happened, that you just wasted today away. You can look after yourself, whether it 
be by exercising, by eating, a healthy meditating, practicing yoga, having fun, or all of the above. Spend time with people who matter, who matter to you, who build you up and not bring you down. When you have meetings at work, that seems pointless. See if you can make them more effective or more meaningful. If you have a job that doesn't make you feel warm and fuzzy, a job that doesn't sing to you, that isn't your dream job, is it? See if you can take some steps on getting closer to your dream. Start now. In the meantime, focus on how you can positively affect your co-workers, your clients, and the people you meet each and every day in your life. Find magic on your way to work or in your lunch break. Stop dwelling on the past. Now, this is really a waste of time because the past is gone. Yes, learning from our past is a good thing, but not dwelling on it. Become friends with the things that scare you most. Invite the fear, fearful moments and see how the scary stuff disappears or you realize they weren't scary in the first place at all. Stop stressing or trying to be perfect all the time. Just be you. That special gift God created, you. Think about the seconds every morning when you wake up and ask yourself, how will I use my time assets today? Time passes. Use your account wisely. Use it according to what's important to you. Call me at 844-405-HELP. We can take each, help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourself and be good to each other and utilize your 86,400 seconds. God has blessed you with wisely. Don't waste it. You can't roll it over because when it's gone, it's gone. May God bless you and may God bless this great country of America. Take good care of yourself. Folks, 86,400 seconds are ticking away. Use them wisely. Use them smart and use them through God. Take good care.